there is an evil that is currently happening in many families. And that evil is that these families are often engulfed by many strange occurrences which cannot be explained. The wicked ones have made it a duty to attack families, because they know that without families, it will be difficult for God's will to be enforced on earth. You must stand on the authority that you have been given in Christ to come against all the attacks of the evil ones against you and your family. The devil knows how to strategize and organize his minions to deal with people, no matter what the wicked ones are planning against you. It cannot stand because what God is doing in you and for you is far bigger than what the wicked ones are doing against you. You must make it a point of duty to ensure that every member of your family is safe and secure irrespective of where they are. Remember that there is no distance in the realm of the spirit. You must stand as a priest and as a watchman to sound the alarm so that no one will be caught unaware. God's ultimate plan is that no one in your family will be hurt by the wicked ones. But you also need to do your part by enforcing the protection of God upon all the members of your family. No matter how large your family might be, all members can still dwell in safety. There is no place for laxity and carelessness in this matter. And that is why we will be praying together against the will of the wicked ones from coming to pass in our families. Join me as we pray together in faith. In the name that is higher than any other name, I decree that all the members of your family will dwell in safety and security wherever they might be. I pray for anyone under the sound of my voice that their family will not be susceptible to the attacks of the wicked ones that are gathered against them in Jesus' name. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare that the fire of the Lord will engulf round about your family and will prevent the wicked ones from infiltrating your homes. 2 Thessalonians 3 verse 3 says, But the Lord is faithful. He will establish you and guard you against the evil one. According to the word of the Lord, I decree over you that the Lord will establish your family and protect you all against the evil ones in the name of Jesus. Since the Lord is intentional about you, I decree that the Lord is building a hedge around your family which will make it difficult for the wicked ones to be able to have access to your homes in the name of Jesus. Your family will abide under the shadow and wings of God, and nothing will make anyone stray away from the safe arms of the Lord in Jesus' name. You all will dwell in safety because the Lord is sending the hosts of heaven to heavily protect you. Isaiah 54 verse 17 read thus, No weapon that is fashioned against you shall succeed and you shall refute every tongue that rises against you in judgment. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord and their vindication from me, declares the Lord. I therefore pray for you that all the weapons and pieces of machinery of the wicked ones against you are destroyed in the name of Jesus. I also decree that any evil tongue that is speaking evil against any member of your family is silenced right now and never to speak again in Jesus' name. Psalms 34 verse 7 says, the angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and delivers them. You will be heavily shielded and protected by God's angelic hosts who excel in strength. These angels will deploy strategies that will keep each and every member of your family perfectly safe in Jesus' name. The Lord will bless the going and coming of every member of your family. No one will go missing or have any major injury or disease that will cost their lives in the name of Jesus. I pray that the eyes of the wicked ones are blindfolded from seeing any of your loved ones to attack in the name of Jesus. The hands of the wicked ones that have been stretched to hurt any member of your family are withered right now by the consuming fire of the Holy Ghost in Jesus' name. You will not be caught unaware by the attacks of the workers of iniquity who have been assigned to attack your family's finance, health and safety in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you Father because our prayers are answered. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Your homes must be sanctified every time because wicked people often try to infiltrate into your homes. They try to do this by sending projections into your homes that will destabilize and cause commotion in your family. You can bless and sanctify your homes by using the blood of Jesus. The Word of God made it clear to us that the blood of Jesus speaks a better thing than the blood of bulls, rams, birds, and all other types of blood, while other people are using other means and mediums that are diabolical to fortify their homes.
You that is a child of God should use the blood of Jesus to sanctify and also fortify your homes. The blood of Jesus was not only shed for the remission of sin, it was also shed to redeem us from the wicked ones. You can plead the blood of Jesus any time you sense strange movement in your homes or you sense an attack of the wicked ones against your family. There are foul spirits that have been released into various homes to afflict homes. You have been given the authority to trample upon these dark powers that want to oppress the members of your homes. Whatever you accept in your home will stay with time. No matter what the devil and his cohorts are presently doing in your home, you are still more than victorious through Christ, who first of all loves you. Remember that the devil has come to steal, kill and destroy the good things that the Lord has begun in your family. But the Son of Man has come to give you life and give it to you abundantly. It is high time we come together to cancel all the evil things that the wicked ones are subtly doing in your family. We will be praying together in faith against anything that is working contrary to the will of God in your family. Let us pray. In the name of Jesus, we thank you Lord Jesus for giving us the authority to trample upon anything that is working against your grand plans for our families. We give you the praise because you have made us more than conquerors through you who first loved us. Glory be to your mighty and holy name Lord Jesus. We bless your name Father because no matter what the wicked ones are doing against us, you still have the final say in our homes. Be thou glorified and extolled Lord Jesus. Thank you Father because your blood is speaking in our homes against anything that has been subtly manipulating our homes which we do not know. Be thou glorified and extolled Lord Jesus. We also want to thank you because you have redeemed our homes from every generational pattern that is still effective in our homes. Blessed be your majestic and holy name Lord. We say a big thank you to your name Lord Jesus. We know your blood is speaking a better thing than the blood of anything that is crying for vengeance and atonement in our homes. Blessed be your mighty and holy name. In the name of Jesus, we stand together with one voice and mind and plead the blood of Jesus upon our homes. We decree that anything that we do not know about that is still operating in our homes, which is putting our homes in bondage and afflicting us is rendered useless and impotent in the name of Jesus. We decree that any object that the wicked ones are using to manipulate our families is set ablaze right now. Today marks an end to demonic manipulation in our homes. We will no longer be susceptible to the attacks of the wicked ones in Jesus' name. By the power in the name of Jesus, we decree that anything that has been buried in the houses that we live in which the wicked ones are still using to afflict us is neutralized right now by the power in the blood of Jesus. We begin to use the blood of Jesus to flush out anything that the wicked ones are using to monitor the progress of our families. We decree that any strange pattern that was effective in the lives of the previous occupants of the houses we are presently living in is rendered powerless and ineffective by the power in the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus is redeeming our families from anything that the devil wants to use to afflict us. The Word of God says in Isaiah 54 verse 17, no weapon fashioned against us shall prosper, and any tongue that rises in judgment against us shall be condemned. According to the word of the Lord, we decree that all the powers darkness and pieces of machinery of the wicked ones against our families are destroyed right now by the fire of the Holy Ghost. No more affliction in our homes and families because the word of God says that affliction shall never rise again the second time. Today. Our homes are set free from all demonic bondage and affliction in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for answering our prayers. Blessed be your holy name, Lord. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. God instituted marriage right from the foundation of the world when he told man to be fruitful, replenish, multiply, and have dominion over the earth. He also went further by taking one of the bones of Adam to create the woman. When Adam saw the woman, he said that she was the bone of his bone and the flesh of his flesh. He called her Eve. Marriage was the first institution ordained by God. Without marriage, it will be hard for the will of God to be enforced on earth, because God will raise people who will do his will on earth through marriage. This is why it is imperative for you to go back to the one who has the manual and ask for directions before you marry. You should enjoy a peaceful and blissful marriage and not otherwise. 
The devil and his cohorts want you to suffer in your marriage. He hates anything that God has blessed, and one of those things is marriage. You might be seeing some things that are against the will of God for your marriage, which you know if you don't take action, they might linger. Those things might look like an insurmountable mountain before you, but trust me, they will become plain if you tell them to God. There is nothing hard for you to do to enforce the will of God for your marriage. You can enforce the will of God for your marriage on your knees and also through the confession of your mouth. Remember that if your marriage is not peaceful, it will be quite difficult to do the will of God. This is because your mind and emotions will not be settled. It is time that we pray for our families. The Word of God says that whatever you say in the ears of God, that is what He will do to you. You will have anything you ask in the place of prayers. Join me as we pray together. In the name of Jesus, I thank you Lord Jesus for helping our marriages. I bless your name for making our marriage blissful and peaceful. We say thank you because you that have started a good work in our families will complete it till the day of Christ. Blessed be your mighty and majestic name. Thank you Lord Jesus because you will make us enjoy and endure our marriage. I give you the adoration Father. Thank you Lord Jesus because you have made our marriage an example to all other marriages around us. I extol and magnify your name Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus, because the plans of the evil ones to frustrate us in our marriage are rendered null and void this minute. You are exalted and magnified, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord, because you will put the wicked ones to flight who has sworn to afflict the members of our family. There is nothing hard that you cannot do in our lives and family. Glory be to your name, Lord Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you that the good work that the Lord has begun in your family will be perfected this very minute. I declare that the weapons of the wicked ones against your family are destroyed right now. All the evil tongues that are wagging against your family are condemned and never to speak again. I pray that the Lord is fighting for your family and you are holding your peace. By the power in the name of Jesus, I release the fire of the Lord to consume all the gathering of the wicked ones who have sworn that they will frustrate your marriage in the name that is above every other name, I pray that your marriage will be heaven on earth and an example to all other marriages around you. I pray that the Lord cause his face to shine upon your marriage and give your marriage peace. I declare over your family that it will be heaven on earth and it will be a haven in the name of Jesus. I also ask that the Lord will cause your marriage to flourish like a tree planted by the riverside which brings forth its fruit in due season. By the power in the name of Jesus, I scatter all the gathering of witches and wizards that have sworn to scatter your marriage and make your marriage a living hell. Your marriage will not see shame, because the Lord will always prove himself to be strong and mighty on your behalf. In the name that is above every other name, I decree that all the good things that the devil and his cohorts have stolen from your marriage are returned sevenfold. You will recover good grounds for the Lord this season. I pray that the Lord will cause your marriage to enforce his will on earth and make it a point of reference for all other marriages in powerful name of Jesus. Thank you Lord for hearing and answering our prayers. Glory be to your name. In Jesus' name we have prayed, Amen. The will of God is encapsulated in his word. God's will for his children is that they prosper and be in health, even as their soul prospers. You should know that God wants the best for you and your family, and he wants nothing short of that. Your family might be going through unfavorable situations which are contrary to the will of God, but you can stand as a priest to enforce the will of God for your family. The will of God is often opposed to coming to fruition by the devil and his cohorts. This is the foremost reason you must stand as a priest to ensure that the will of God sees the light of the day. No matter what your family might have lost in the past, it is still possible to recover those things. The thoughts of God towards you are that you walk in full manifestation of all the good things that God has in store for you as his child. Today, we will be enforcing the will of God in our families. The word of God is in our mouths, and do not forget that we are kings and our words are laws. As I will be making these declaration over you and your family, do well to receive these prayers in faith. 
Join me as we pray together. In the name of Jesus, Lord we thank you because the thoughts you have towards us are of good and not of evil to give us an expected end. We bless your name Lord because your will for our lives will be manifested from today and no force will prevent it from coming to pass. Lord Jesus, we bless your name because your will for our families will make our families stand strong in the face of unsavory situations. We bless your name because your promises for our families are yea and amen in you. We know that in your time, all the good things that you have in store for our families will begin to see the light of the day. Blessed be your holy name Lord. We say thank you Lord Jesus. In the name that is above every other name, I decree that the promises of the Lord over your family are manifesting right now whether the devil and his cohorts like it or not. I pray for you that the will of the Lord for your family will not be truncated with your hands and it will never be delayed by the powers of darkness in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that the Lord will expose the agenda of the wicked ones to truncate his will for you and your family in Jesus' name. I decree that the fire of the Lord is consuming all household wickedness who are pretending to be friendly and delaying the will of God from coming to fruition in your families in Jesus' name. The Lord is exposing all unfriendly friends who are working against God's will for your family. You will be discerning enough to know the people who have been sent to distract you and your loved ones out of the will of God in the mighty name of Jesus. The word of God says that a mother might forget her suckling child, but the Lord can never forget his own. I pray for you and your family that the Lord will ensure that he hastens to perform his promises and covenant over you and your family. The word of the Lord is enforced in all areas of your life and family whether the devil and his agents like it or not in the name of Jesus. The word of God says in Matthew 7 verse 7 that we should ask, and it will be given to us. We should knock. The door will be opened unto us, and we should seek. We will find. I pray for you that you will keep on persisting in the place of asking, knocking and seeking until the will of God begins to manifest in all areas of your life and family. The waiting power and ability have been bestowed upon you to seek the face of the Lord until there is a shift in your family in Jesus' name. By the power in the name of Jesus, I pray for you that the Lord will arise in his mightiness and scatter all the enemies of your family who are fighting tooth and nail to prevent the will of the Lord from coming to manifestation in your family. I decree over you and your family that the fire of the Lord will expose all the hiding corners of the wicked ones who are strategizing and putting their pieces of machinery in place to frustrate your family out of God's will for it in the name of Jesus. Luke 18 verse 1 says that men ought always to pray and not to faint. I declare over you that since you are the priest in charge of your family, you won't stop praying over every member of your family. You won't get weary in the place of prayers as you stand in the gap for your family in the name of Jesus. Thank you Father for hearing and answering our prayers. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. The protection of the Lord is one thing that every child of God needs in this evil world. You need God's protection because the devil is all out to ensure that you are afflicted and oppressed. There are many strategies that the devil and his cohorts employ to make the children of God vulnerable to their attacks. You must be on the lookout because your adversary the devil is going about like a roaring lion looking for whom to devour. He is circumnavigating the whole earth to put people under his bondage and traps. You should not be ignorant of the devil's devices that he often uses to attack and afflict God's people. He is a master tactician and he is never tired of employing all the weapons in his arsenal to afflict the children of God. As a child of God, you must be aware that the devil has come to steal, kill and destroy, and he will ensure that he executes this mandate till his time is up. There are strategic prayers you need to pray to keep you in a state of safety, which will keep you safe from all the attacks of the evil ones. The word of God is one of the weapons you need to employ in waging war against the devil and his adversaries. To use the word of God, you must be full of the word of God. You speak the word of God in faith to cancel out all the attacks and plots of the evil ones that are working against you and your family. We will be engaging these warfare psalms against the attacks of the evil ones and to protect us from the devices of the wicked ones. 
Do not forget that you have the authority to decree a thing on earth, and it will be established to you and light will shine upon your path. Join me as we pray together. Lord Jesus, we want to thank you for keeping us safe from the attacks and plots of the wicked ones that are gathered against us and our loved ones. We give you the praise Father because you will always help us to come out triumphant irrespective of what the devil and his cohorts are doing to frustrate the will of God for us and our families. We are also grateful Lord because the agenda of the wicked ones is falling like a pack of cards this instant. Blessed be your holy name Lord Jesus. Thank you Father because we are safe and secure under the mighty hands of the Holy Spirit. And because of this, we will never be vulnerable to the attacks of the evil ones. We say a big thank you to your holy and majestic name, Lord. Thank you, Father, because no matter the attacks of the evil ones, we will always come out unscathed. We thank you, Lord, because the hedge of defense you have built around us will never be taken down by anything, nor by ourselves. Glory, honor, and majesty be ascribed to your holy name, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus, because this season, no member of our families will be attacked by the devices of the wicked ones. There is no one to be compared to your holy name, Father. For this reason, we are still saying thank you. The Word of God says in 2 Thessalonians 3 verse 3, But the Lord is faithful. He will establish you and guard you against the evil one. According to the Word of God, we declare that the Lord is establishing us and guarding us against all the evil ones gathered against us. The Lord is keeping us safe from all the attacks of the evil ones much more this season in the name of Jesus. No matter the number of people against us, the Lord will prove himself to be strong and mighty on our behalf. We won't see shame as the Lord is our reward and the lifter of our head. According to the word of God in Psalm 32 verse 7 which says, You are a hiding place for me. You preserve me from trouble. You surround me with shouts of deliverance. We pray that the Lord will always be our hiding place, and he will always preserve us from all troubles in the name of Jesus. The Lord will always be our shelter, and we will always run under his wings in times of trouble and trials in the name of Jesus. Psalm 34 verse 7 says, The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him, and delivers them. We pray that much more this season, the angels of the Lord are encamping round about us, and will deliver us from the evil ones who are planning to hurt us and put us to shame in the name of Jesus. We decree that the angels of the Lord are going ahead of us to clear all the blockades and stumbling blocks that the wicked ones have placed on our path to greatness. We pray, Lord, that we will always be carried about by these angels, and they won't allow any hurt to come near us or the members of our families in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for hearing and answering all our prayers. Blessed be your name, Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed, Amen. The blood of Jesus speaks a better thing than the blood of Abel. When you call on the blood of the Lamb, you are using it as a weapon of offense over the attacks of the wicked ones. The devil has sworn that he will not give you rest until he sees your end. You must come against the devil and all his schemes. Who the Son of Man has set free is free indeed. You have been set free from the oppression and affliction of the evil ones. But this does not mean that the devil will not stop trying to attack you. You have to make the victory you have been given in Christ Jesus effective. Many believers do not know how to appropriate the blood of Jesus rightly to combat the wicked ones who are ganged up against them. This is one of the reasons why the wicked ones are still afflicting them. You have the blood of Jesus always at your disposal. It can never get exhausted and it is efficacious and potent. As a child of God, you have overcome the devil by the blood of the Lamb and by the words of your testimonies. The devil and all his minions are defeated foes already, and you are trampling them with the authority that you have been given in the name of Jesus. Today, we will be using the blood of Jesus to come against all the devices of the wicked ones that have been targeted at our families. The blood of Jesus has never failed, and it won't fail now. Let us pray together. In the name of Jesus, Father we thank you for helping us defeat all the wicked ones who are gathered against us and our families. Thank you Father because no matter the numbers of the evil ones who are gathered against us, you have made us triumph over them in faith. 
We bless your name, Lord, because you have made us more than conquerors through you who first loved us. Blessed be your holy name, Lord Jesus. We also bless your name because your blood will always give us victory over all the devices of the wicked ones. Glory be to your name, Lord Jesus. We give you the praise and adulation. No one deserves all the praise aside from you, Father. Lord Jesus, we say a big thank you because because of your blood. You have made us escape all the plans of the wicked ones to hurt us and our families. We are saying thank you because your blood is a weapon of offense and defense over all the traps and pits of the evil ones that have been placed strategically to hurt us. Your word says we should enter into your gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise, and by this knowledge, we are entering into your gates Father with thanksgiving, and also entering into your courts with a big shout of praise. Glory be to your mighty and holy name Lord Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we pray that the blood of Jesus will fight for us and our families. The blood of Jesus will protect us from the onslaught of the wicked ones who are gathered to hurt us and our families. By the power in the name of Jesus, we decree that the blood of Jesus will rise and speak against all the wicked ones who are hell-bent on frustrating all our efforts. Hebrews 10 verse 19 says that we have the confidence to enter the Holy of Holies by the blood of Jesus. According to the Word of God, we pray that we will always have the confidence to enter into the Holy of Holies in the name of Jesus. No matter how we might be feeling condemned, we will always come to God with boldness and confidence because we know that the blood of Jesus is speaking for us. All curses and enchantments that have been set against us are broken by th blood of Jesus. We know that Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law. He has been made a curse for us because cursed is anyone who hangs on a tree. By this knowledge, we decree that all curses that are still subtly in operation in our lineage are broken right now by the power in the name of Jesus. The blood of Jesus has wiped clean the slate. Therefore we decree that all the things that are working contrary to the will of God for us and our families are destroyed in the name of Jesus. Anything that has been stolen from us is returned sevenfold by the power in the blood of Jesus. We stand with one voice and declare that any evil altar that the wicked ones are using to perpetrate evil in our families is destroyed right now because of the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus is fighting for us, and we are holding our peace in the name of Jesus. Thank you Lord Jesus for hearing and answering all our prayers. Blessed be your name Lord Jesus. Amen. One thing that you can do for your family daily is proclaiming God's words and promises over it. You can do that in faith believing that your words won't fall to the ground. The word of God has made it clear to us that whatever we decree on earth shall be established in heaven and light will shine upon our paths. You are to speak God's promises and covenant over you and your family often without ceasing. It might look like your words are not manifesting, but trust me, these words are already gathering momentum in the realm of the Spirit, and it is just a matter of time before these words manifest physically. Keep on confessing and believing, do not stop. The devil will plant his words in your head by telling you that you are just wasting your time. But do not give room for these thoughts to germinate. Rebuke these words by speaking only God's true word over your family. We will be proclaiming God's blessing over our families together in faith. Do not doubt your words because they are spirit and life. Join me as we pray together. Lord, we are grateful for making all things work together for the good of our families. We thank you because what the wicked ones meant for evil, you have turned it around for the good of our families. Glory be to your holy name. We are grateful because the blessings that you have for us can never be stolen by the devil and his cohorts. Lord, we are grateful to your holy name. We say thank you, Father. Father, we are further thanking you because daily you are carrying us in the hollow of your palms. We are also grateful for blessing us with heaven's dew and rain. We are also thanking you because the rain of abundance will never stop falling upon us and our families. Glory be to your mighty and holy name. In the name that is above every other name, I decree that all blessings that the wicked ones have hoarded, which haven't gotten into your hands, are released now. I pray for you that the fire of the Lord will roast all the forces of darkness who have ganged up together 
in order to prevent God's blessing from manifesting in your family in the name of Jesus. The Lord will make his blessings too hot for the wicked ones to be able to handle. Philippians 4 verse 19 says, And my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. According to the word of the Lord, I pray for you that the Lord will often meet you at the point of your need, and you will never be stranded in Jesus' name. You will walk in financial dominance this year and for the rest of your life. Right now I pray for you that you will not be a servant to money. Money will work for you and your family. The Word of God has made it known to us that the love of money is the root of all evil. I pray for you that you won't be a slave to money and money will never be lacking in your hands in Jesus' name. I decree over you that all the resources that each member of your family needs to fulfill their destinies are released to them now in Jesus' name. God is your source, and you are his resources. By reason of this, you won't be lacking of anything good because the Lord will always prove to you and your family that he is the source that can never run dry in Jesus' name. I declare that doors which have been shut against you and your family in time past are opened right now. All the doors that will lead to another level for your family, which are still shut, are opened right now by the mighty wind of the Holy Ghost. You won't be stranded outside these doors, and I also pray that your sense of discernment is quickened for you to know your family's Kairos moment in Jesus' name. By reason of the oil of blessing that is flowing in your family, I pray that God's blessing will never run dry in it. All the evil ones who are bent on making the oil of favor and blessing stop flowing are exposed and consumed right now by the power in Jesus' name. The oil of favor and blessing will also rub off on other families who are trusting God for open doors. I pray for you that your family will be channels of blessing to other families. Your family will never be a stagnant pool, rather it will be a spring that never runs dry in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you because your promises over our families are yea and amen in you. We thank you because we are surnamed with your blessed and trusted name. Glory be to your mighty name. We also thank you because the thoughts you have for us is of good and never of evil to give us an expected end. Thank you, Lord, for hearing and answering our prayers. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. With joy and love in your heart. Do well to like, share and subscribe to our channel. God bless you richly.